you ever wanted to create your own fireworks? FWSim is a fireworks simulator. Fireworks companies use it to plan real shows, but there's also a game version for fireworks fans. In this tutorial series, you'll learn how to create your first show in FWSim step by step. So let's take a closer look on the interface of FWSim. In the middle of our screen, we will see the simulation of our fireworks show. Furthermore, we can adjust our firing positions. At the bottom of our screen, we see the timeline. Here we organize our fireworks to shoot at the right time. At the right hand side, we can configure our shots, create firing positions and more. Below that, we can select which elements to insert, for example, one shot or several shots of a firework. Let's start to design our first show. I want to have some music which underlines my fireworks. So I just pick some music of my choice in Windows Explorer, hold my mouse button and drag it to the FWSIM timeline. Now I'm ready to add some fireworks. Let's insert some fireworks that explode in the sky. I'll choose single firework and select a fireworks effect from the library. To see the simulation on my screen, I have to insert them into the timeline via left click. I can adjust the angle by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse to the left or right. To fill the space under my fireworks in the sky, I want some comets. Comments simply shoot from the ground up. We want several shots in a row, so we click Stepper. I insert the stepper into the timeline by clicking. On the right, we can adjust the number of shots. Again, we use the right mouse button to change the two angles. To quickly build a large show, you can copy and paste what you already have. Simply right click on a shot in the timeline and select copy. Then you right click on an empty space in the timeline and choose paste. You can also drag a rectangle to select multiple cues, then copy and paste them all together. After you filled your show as desired, you can press space to play your show. Have fun! I hope to see you in the next part of our tutorial, where I'll show you to shoot fireworks from multiple positions in FWSIM.